Hello, wrestling fans. My name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, where I want some answers. You want an answer? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you an answer. And with that, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with wrestling talk shows, followed by the Million Dollar Championship. Up next, you're not here to listen to me mumble. Let's check out the Wrestle Rock Rumble. Get on! Life altering injuries. And last but certainly not least, wardrobe malfunctions. Suit wins a lot. Yeah. Now, if you're a seasoned vet and you've been with Wrestling Jeopardy from the beginning, I appreciate the ever living heck out of you. However, if you're a newbie and you've never played before, let's check out the not so extreme rules so you understand exactly how to play this interactive play along trivia competition where you're the contestant. Let's do this. All right, let's jump in. Kick things off with the 200 point round, the easiest round in wrestling Jeopardy where you should really go five for five. And if you don't, well then, can you really call yourself a wrestling fan? Anywho, we're going to wrestling talk shows for 200. What was the name of Paul Bearer's wrestling talk show? Oh, yes, that would be the funeral parlor. That brings us to the Million Dollar Championship for two. In January 1996, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, awarded the Million Dollar Championship to this new protege of his. And the correct answer is the ringmaster, but obviously I'd also accept Stone Cold Steve Austin. Back up a little bit, brother. Moving on to the Wrestle Rock Rumble. To promote their upcoming Wrestle Rock 86 Supercard, the AWA produced a music video called the Wrestle Rock Rumble and filmed it in this entertainment capital of the world. And the correct answer is Viva Las Vegas. Wrestle Rock. We're on to life altering injuries for two. At Starcade 99, one stiff sidekick to the head delivered by Bill Goldberg gave this wrestler a concussion so severe he would have to retire from pro wrestling altogether. Now the Hitman did continue wrestling a few more matches in early 2000 until the effects of that concussion just became too much and he did come back and wrestle a little bit for the WWE about a decade later. The correct answer is Bret Hart. And let's finish up the 200 point round with wardrobe malfunctions. Anticipation was building for this diva's re-debut after the 2016 WWE brand extension draft. However, just moments before the bell rang, she lost her top. And who could forget about the lovely, talented, and beautiful Eva Marie. Why are you running? And now we go to the 400 point round, which begins with wrestling talk shows. Name The Miz and John Morrison's wrestling talk show. And the correct answer what is the dirt sheet? We're on to the million dollar championship for four. Pro wrestling superstar Virgil earned the biggest victory of his career when he defeated Ted DiBiase for the Million Dollar Championship at this 1991 WWF pay-per-view. And the correct answer, feel the heat because it was SummerSlam. Moving on to the Wrestle Rock Rumble for four. The Wrestle Rock Rumble featured different AWA talent rapping verses in a vein similar to the Super Bowl Shuffle, which was performed by this NFL football team. Uh -oh. 
And the answer, who are the Chicago Bears? The Bears! Which brings us to life-altering injuries for 400. This former WWE champion has not wrestled since breaking his neck in a tag team match versus Sheamus and Ridge Holland on SmackDown in March of 2022. Really hope we get to see this guy again. Truly a generational talent. The correct answer, who is Big E? And let's finish up the 400-point round with wardrobe malfunctions. AJ Styles retained his WWE title versus this wrestler at Tables, Ladders, and Chairs 2016, even with a hole over his backside, thanks to a rip from a bent chair during the match. And that would be Dean Ambrose or John Moxley. Don't it look good? <laughs> nope. All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification bell icon so you always get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode or whenever I come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, which is every weekend. Yep. Kicking off the 600 point round with wrestling talk shows, name Christian's WWE wrestling talk show. And that would be, what is the peep show? Which brings us to the million dollar championship for 600. Originally introduced in 1989, the million dollar man crowned himself the million dollar champion during an episode of this talk show. And the correct answer here, what is the brother love show? Holy <laughs> Take a look at that, Jesse. Moving on to the Wrestle Rock Rumble for 600. A little something for the ladies featured this tag team emerging from the pool wearing Speedos while perfectly rapping with Razor Sharp Precision. Perfectly wrapping with Razor Sharp Precision. The correct answer, who is Big Scott Hall and Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig? I gave that one away. Come on, folks. Get on! And we're on to life-altering injuries for 600. <laughs> There it is, this episode's Daily Double from Life Altering Injuries. Think about how much you know about really unfortunate uh, wrestling injuries and then place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double Clue from Life Altering Injuries. Known for being the last graduate of the legendary Heart Dungeon, Tyson Kidd suffered a career-ending neck injury after taking this maneuver from Samoa Joe in 2015. And that would be Joe's finishing maneuver, the Muscle Buster. And let's finish off the 600-point round with wardrobe malfunctions on the May 9th, 2005 episode of Monday Night Raw, this wrestler dropped to his knees for his signature entrance, but couldn't get up because a piece of his jacket was stuck on the rampway. And the answer, who is HBK, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? Lol. Here we go, kicking off the 800 point round with wrestling talk shows. What was the name of Dude Love's wrestling talk show? And the correct answer, what is the Love Shack, baby? Oh, have mercy! We're on to the Million Dollar Championship for 800. The Million Dollar Championship belt was designed by Terry Betridge of Betridge Jewelers, which is located in this Connecticut city. Uh -oh. 
That could have been one or the other if you're a huge WWE headquarters wrestling fan. The correct answer, what is Greenwich, Connecticut? Moving on to the Wrestle Rock Rumble for 800. Ooh, this is a this is a new one here. Finish this song lyric. We're the Midnight Rockers, Sean and Marty. We love to blank and we love to party. You had so many different choices to make with this word, but the answer is we love to wrestle. Get on. Which brings us to life-altering injuries for 800. In 2001, one bad slip during a springboard moonsault attempt ended the career of this Japanese wrestling icon. And the correct answer, who was Hayabusa? And let's finish up the 800-point round with wardrobe malfunctions. Jake the Snake Roberts once left Rick Rude butt naked inside the squared circle after ripping off the Ravishing One's wrestling tights that had this former wife of Jake's face plastered on Rude's junk. And the answer we're looking for, who is Cheryl Roberts? <laughs> and we've made it to the most difficult round in wrestling jeopardy, the thousand point round. The steel cage begins to lower. That ominous music once again begins to play. Get your thinking caps on as we're going right into wrestling talk shows for 1,000 name. Chris Jericho's recently introduced AEW Wrestling Talk Show. And the correct answer, what is the learning tree? Which brings us to the thousand dollar clue for the million dollar championship. In September, 2021, the million dollar championship was quietly removed from WWE.com with this recently released superstar being referred to as a former champion thus deactivating the title and recognizing him as the final champion. And that would be, who is Cameron Grimes? Moving on to the Wrestle Rock Rumble for 1000, this former AWA and WWF announcer is perhaps best known as the host of the Wrestle Rock Rumble music video where he showed off his killer dance moves. And that would be, who is Ken Resnick? Get on! We're on to life-altering injuries for a thousand. Magnum TA was on the verge of greatness until one rainy night in October of 1986, when he lost control of this make and model type of vehicle and slammed into a telephone pole. Magnum was set up to be the next NWA champion, probably defeating Ric Flair at the 1986 Starcade. However, he totaled his Porsche 911 Turbo on that rainy night and unfortunately never wrestled again. And let's close out the regular round of Jeopardy with the thousand point clue from wardrobe malfunctions. This former Tough Enough winner is not only remembered for her horrible tag match against Trish Stratus, but also for exposing herself to millions of live viewers. And this is when, uh, how do I say it? Uh, Lance Storm was given the gimmick of having a big <coughs> and Jackie Gata found that out the hard way, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 25 questions down, start tallying up your score right now as we find out exactly what this episode's final Jeopardy category is. Ladies and gentlemen, the category is Paul Heyman guys.
More than a mere mouthpiece, Heyman has been able to elevate numerous talents. Other managers have clients, but the 2024 WWE Hall of Famer has Paul Heyman guys. All right, so think about how much you know about all of Paul Heyman's guys and make your wager now. All right, time is up. Let's go to the final Jeopardy clue. This wrestler aligned himself with Paul Heyman as an enforcer during WWE's ECW revival in 2006 until a legit injury in a match versus Rob Van Dam turned him into a good guy. Good luck. This wrestler aligned himself with Paul Heyman as an enforcer during WWE's ECW revival in 2006 until a legit injury in a match versus Rob Van Dam turned him into a good guy. Initially a bad guy associated with ECW authority figure Paul Heyman, Hardcore Holly's biggest claim to fame during this run was sustaining a gnarly laceration on his back after a table spot with Rob Van Dam went wrong, which managed to turn him into a babyface due to the crowd reaction. And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.